welcome. Uh, just hanging out in the garage, drinking some coffee, doing some well overdue reviews. I got the backlog of some vape mail, but I'm gonna pick from the bunch and I'll just test out some juice. Um, turn down the radio here. It's a little, a little loud, but gotta love some Pink Floyd. Um, I really don't rewrap my coils every time. I use the same coil. I just burn it hot till the cotton kind of melts, pull it all on either side, keep going, scrape off anything, burn it a little, Q-tip around it, clean out the well. There's really no reason to rebuild your wick every time. That stuff works great. So just replace the cotton. Um, got it naked right now, no cotton. It's cooled off enough to feed the cotton through. And while my K100 is getting ready, just my tried and true ego with my Pro Tank. I've been on the same cartridge in the Pro Tank for quite a while. And um, I just use my own blend that I make. Um, just a very light tobacco. And then lately I've been mixing a little bit of uh, a little bit of my steam juice. Just a couple drops in there just to sweeten it up. Because I, I find that I really like my steam juice and I like to make it last. And, for some reason, it's just my go-to vape when, when I'm working on stuff and when I don't feel like playing around with coils and cotton, it's just grab and go. It's not all about chasing clouds for me. It's just about getting a nice vape, seeing a nice cloud, feeling it, tasting it. Uh, it's different for everybody, depending on where you're at with quitting cigarettes, um, quitting analogs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but yeah, let me get to this. And I don't know what I'm going to review right now. Just a little O of cotton. Just going to pull it out. And, uh, I, you know, there's no there's no science, really. I just twist it up until I think it's going to fit. Grab my scissors. And uh, instead of doing a rushing review, I'm just going to kind of take my time. So, you know, if you want to fast forward through this uh, build process, I twist it up. Push it through, pull it through. Uh, you know, there's no exact science. This is why I don't have glass things. <laughs> I drop everything. I'm seriously fumbled. So, you know, I pulled it right. So I just tuck it under. I'm not sure, everybody does it differently, but I put it around, tuck it under. Then I wrap the loose one in this side and kind of. And then I kind of curl it around, cut it off. Uh, no exact science, really. Everybody's got their own way of doing stuff. I like to keep it kind of fluffy. Just push it down a little bit, get it in there. Usually I always take my battery out just in case I accidentally fire it. There's, there's nothing worse than burnt cotton. Once you burn cotton, you really want to pull it out. So you always want to keep your cotton moist if you're rebuilding um so that's done what two seconds ten seconds worth of uh worth of twisting cotton and cutting it um not one to boil my cotton i do use organic cotton but i don't boil it i never boiled my cigarette butts and there's so many more chemicals in cigarettes than um in vape juice i mean there's such a such a, a rage against um against e-cigarettes and juice in general right now just uh i don't know if it's big tobacco just not getting uh i don't want to rant about about it but um you know eventually it'll be heavily taxed or whatnot and they're saying it's bad and this and that for all sorts of reasons but yet cigarettes are still on the market and there's so many things that are bad for you and for something that allows you to quit smoking it really just changes the game. It really just changes the addiction. And um, vaping doesn't have all the chemicals. It just has, you know, nicotine. Or you can choose to have no nicotine. Most of the time people start off with higher and go lower. I stay at about six. Um, I make my blend at seven because over time, you know, your nicotine does fade out. But uh, six is fine. Zero is okay. 
you know, some some juice companies like Ono oh makes a good zero. All their flavors are real tasty. Um, so I kind of reserve those. But I found myself, I need I need my nicotine. I like it. And I uh, just really hate for any kind of tax, 95% tax, that kind of thing on, uh, on e-cigarettes. It's just being chased by pitchforks and torches right now. And, and I hate to see it go the way of the wayside, but... You know, people jump on this Chantix medication and so many side effects. Um, vaping's where it's at, and I like vaping, and it's now become a hobby. So, um, I quit smoking. Cigarettes bother me 10 feet away. Uh, you know, everybody's different. Uh, on to my vape mail, though. I could talk about this for a while. Uh, this is actually Barb's Brew, and um, I definitely wanted to take a look. Uh, the packaging has got nice bubble. It's not too much packaging. Some companies like to overpack, some underpack. Really, if you're spending money to send it, you want to make sure it gets there safe. But So, you know, it is an extra bag. For me, it's not needed, but I could put my cotton in it, or I could put my wire wicks in it, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, Bar's Brew, and uh, I got the Joey's Custard. It's got a uh, six, it's uh, 317 it was made, contains nicotine, blah, 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 but, you know, little things, look at this. Now, this is what's called a vape band, and it's just a, vapebands.com, just a piece of rubber, really, it's like a rubber band. Um, I haven't really used these before, this one says married to my mod, um, I'm not much for, for logos, so I'd probably flip it around, but but this isn't going to help me protect my Kanger. Maybe it goes on other things. Um, I really don't have much glass. Maybe it goes on a glass bottle. Maybe I could... Uh, maybe if your bottle and you're worried about it tipping over or something, I just... I guess this just protects your glass, but it doesn't go around my pro tank, so I don't really need it. And uh, cheers to you, vape band, for uh, making money off of uh, rubber band. I mean, so many ways to make money in this industry, and that's awesome. Uh, more power to you. It's just for something I don't need, but um, way cool, anyways. Um, I guess I'm just not sugarcoating things right now. I'm not in a sugarcoating mood or being extra nice. I'm just, this is how it is. This is how it affects me. I'm not going to do it much about it. Now, this is Joey's Custard. I like custard, strawberry. Not getting a sm strong smell, but I love these drip tips, the, the skinny ones. Custard, it's like a uh, vanilla, I would guess, but we'll see. I'm gonna saturate this real quick. Saturate the cotton with my e juice. Uh, when you first saturate new cotton, it's gonna soak up a lot more. Um, it's it's a thinner juice, which is fine. It doesn't tell me the percentage. I think I got 50/50 or house blend. Um, I'm just gonna soak it up. Now, you know what I've been a big fan of? It's my 18490 tiny batteries. And I'm, I've got my charger right here. So, I'm charging them up. And I'm liking these smaller, smaller batteries. They don't last as long as the bigger batteries, but... I like the way these fit smaller in my hand. Um, the balance point between the notch and... Uh, the bottom for me it works out better but um we'll see i mean they're charged might have to fiddle around with this coil you gotta fiddle when you're vaping a lot of stuff you fiddle with you know now, how come i'm not getting it i don't know maybe it peeled off maybe i was too rough with it when i when I made it. Yeah, there we go. I just needed to tighten it down. It's a fiddling thing. 
and that's fine for me. Um, I don't know how many ohms. I wrapped it like eight or nine times. I'm just such a bad vapor. I don't measure my ohms. I don't have an ohm reader. I just, I do what I think is right and what's going to work for me. And two or three, see, look, it's fine. It never gets hot. I never have a problem. I vape all day. And, um, you know, dripping can be a pain in the ass. I can. Uh, taking the lid off every time. I guess usually you could just do it here. But I got to see what I'm doing. I got to see how much I'm putting in there. I can tell now when I get down to um, when there's not enough on the cotton. I could tell that. And I know not to go past that point. Otherwise, I burn my cotton. But uh, you'll find your cotton starting to shrink and just not as fluffy. But when you get your new cotton, the second or third time after you fill it up is usually for me the best. But we'll see. We'll see how this uh, this uh, Barb's Brew Joey's Custard handles it. That's actually uh, really good. It's a thinner juice, but that's fine for me because I'm dripping. Um, it's good for tanks, too, when you have thinner juice. But uh, Barber's Brew, thank you so much for sending this out. It's just a vanilla custard, really. And that's what I've been vaping a lot. Uh, vanillas, butterscotches. Uh, Barber's Brew, it's good stuff. I'm sure I'll go through this. Uh, this is going to go into the keeper pile for vaping. Now, it's still got that new cotton a little bit. And I am getting a, a throat hit. So, usually, I haven't been getting a throat hit. On my juices um, what's good to do is I got a little thing of uh, actually let me grab the big thing of a uh, here's coffee and what you want to do is just clear out your olfactories because the vapors tongue is really just an overwhelming sensation of your olfactories you know I mean, it could also be dry mouth and whatnot, but a lot of taste, a lot of things you taste is with your nose. This is just how it is. So, you know, if you get something like a little carry on and put a little bit of a, a little bit, Folgers works fine. But you want to trick your senses. See, when I first started smelling this, it was really strong. And now it's light to where you can almost not smell it. And then you're reset. Just kind of resetting your battery, so to speak. So, uh, see if I can give you a better explanation. That's a good... That's a good custard. I mean, I guess I could vape here all day and talk to you about everything, but um, I just wanted to go over the Barb's Brew, Joey's Custard. Uh, it's definitely something that I'd get again. Um, I definitely like the time she took, and I, I really appreciate the vape band, but just have no use for it. So, you know, I'll add it to my collection of stuff, and there's only so many things you could really work into your, into your daily, you know? It's just how it is. Now, I'm not super in love with it, but it's up there. I like it. And, you know, I don't really know what to tell you about this juice. It's a custard, and it's done well. Um, thanks for watching. This is Chris Wicks. You guys have a good one. And I am going to go through some more vape mail. But uh, that's pretty much it, you know. With vaping, it can be get finicky. Um, this is going in my pocket. And I'll pretty much vape this the rest of the day. It's real smooth. 
Uh, it's got a consistent flavor, and wish I had more of it. But this will do. I mean, sometimes you get to the point where you don't have enough juice, and you just vape with what you got. Um, but uh, thankfully, I like it. So Barb's Brew, Joey's Custard, I'd pick it up. So right around there is, I've gotten rid of all the, the cotton tastes, and it's not as harsh on my throat. as it was just a minute ago. It's had time to soak, but I find myself pulling off the lid and just pressing the button and watching it go. I'm pressing the button and filling it up until I get that right set. I don't have the best setup, but I really like my little 18460 or 18490 batteries versus the larger ones. Um, just the balance point it sits in my hand it sits right here it's a little grippy you know it's just easier for me so little batteries k100 barbs brew i'm gonna get back to the music but uh that's it have a good one No steeping needed. It's great right out of the bottle, for real. Um, I'm a stickler now about juice out of the bottle. I go back and forth like, oh, i got to steep it, like good wine. I just want to grab the bottle, open it up, shake it up a couple times, and vape it. I mean, what else can you do? I like the blue cap better than the white cap. Barb, thanks.